Hello people, welcome to Dux Modeling. Today with another inbox review. And uh, it's gonna be a new company for me. It's gonna be the uh, Asuka model in combination in uh, conjunction with Tamiya. Uh, type 74 Tank G. It's a 135 scale uh, JCSDF. And kit number is good question. What's the kit number? Ah, there's the kit number. Uh, 35-045 right. and I have to say a big thank you to domino.be these guys over here for providing this review or uh, this review sample for me and I would say guys go over to their website see what they got because they sell this and many many more they're just they're helping me out a lot so why don't you help them out a lot the box, very nice box art, kind of if you would make the background white it would be a Tamiya box art so I haven't had a Asuka yet and in all honesty I opened this up, I could actually do this and you would have the same kit. So I was very looking very forward to looking at my first Asuka kit and it just isn't. But We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, there's some write up here to me in Chinese and in English about the uh, or Japanese and English about the tank. Here on the side, you got again the scale, the kit manufacturer, the box art, the name, and the kit number. I don't know what uh, I think this is the uh, price in yen. And then here you got some color call outs. In uh, nobody can read this, so that's cool. And a picture of the deco sheet, and this is from the address from Asuka. So let's turn around and open it up. And first, that I noticed there are two different colors of spruce. That's the first thing. You got these black spruce. And you got these brownish spruce and white, but these are more like some other things. And then I noticed this. I'll come back to that later as well. And these and these. So now we got the deco sheet and the instructions. So. This is I have no clue. Camouflage and markings it says it here. These are the decals or how you supposed to uh, put them on. But everybody by now knows how to use decals. So and then you got this and I. I don't know. I can't read this. I mean, it's pointing out the Na three G ten E forty eight and E four. I mean, are these extras or these are? And this is uh, Suka. It definitely doesn't aim for the Western market, you would think. But then again, this is in English, and that's the only thing on the entire. My thing, so I'm guessing these are uh, upgrades, extra detailing, and stuff like here cable tie and how to clean up the gap. Guessing there's probably somebody, hopefully, somebody out there. I can actually read this, that section there, and tell me what that means. Because I have no clue. And that doesn't help. And now we got the instructions. <coughs> um, it's the greyish, folded the wrong wayish. Openish. 
gushing like this then maybe just fold give me a second give me a second please I'm gonna check something nope this is page one two three four okay five okay well uh kind of weird but it's probably just me I'm weird I know that this probably something of a write-up yeah this is here's in English then you, it's the same thing you found on the outside of the box with this picture then you've got the colors the Tamiya colors only and you need the X the XF series I couldn't tell you the colors because I can't read it uh, except for these parts because they got the English name next to him as well side colors knife but these are X as well got the spree overview here And here's a little map of the things you do not need. So spruce C, uh, and you don't need anything except for the wheels, I think. Oh no, this is spruce C. So you don't need anything about it. Almost nothing. So let's continue. They start with, the, and here's the English, here's the English spec. So they start with the suspension arms. The, uh, I'm guessing this has the, yeah, the gear covers, because they got the gearbox in the back with a drive tray in the back. You know, covering up the holes in the floor. Uh, vision port. No, just no, no, just uh, this is a hook so you can uh, fix the upper and lower hole together. Uh, remove projection on the hole. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so if you you can make it movable. But then you have to remove a couple of bolts on B. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, I can see. Uh, the holes where the swing arms go in, you should remove a couple of bolts there. Or you remove the bump stop on the inside of the swing arm suspension arm and then you can have a movement range and you can use a jig to make sure they're correctly aligned so if you would like to use raise suspension or lower suspension on the front and raised on the back you can do it now so you can glue them into place in the wanted position the wheels and the wheels the drive pocket and road wheels. This is the idle wheel, these are the road wheels. And then there's the rear panel. Here, yeah, detail up again. It says here detail up. It's a jerry can. All extras. Wheels are assembled. Rear plate is uh, attached. Towing uh, hooks are attached. Let's see, four, five. This is remodeling, upper hole remodeling, choose section A or B. Uh, but this is uh, something else for instructions. It actually makes you think. So how do you want those? I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> this doesn't happen a lot, but I have no clue what they mean. 
They have two pictures, but they're both the picture are taken from a different angle. But I think they're using the same part. F16. But is this also F16? Using original part, using new part. Something about the uh, mod cards you can do two different ways. Let's let's keep it simple. Otherwise this video is an hour long and it really doesn't need to be. Then you got the internal view. The hook for the front and the back. The uh, vision port for the driver. Then you got the lights. Hooks. Lighting here as well. The head of a pickaxe. Spare tracks. Uh, this is all detail up. This is also detail up. So if you want to get some more out of your lights here, you can make it more beautiful. Uh, I think you can make it more beautiful with the stuff that the kit comes with. Uh, 7 and 8, yeah. So you got the side, you got the towing cable, uh, the protection for the lights, and again you can all detail this up, it's all mentioned somewhere else. Then you go on the back, you got the, the uh, exhaust with the covers and the pipes, left, right, so you can see there. Then you do the front with the metal with the barrel and av available detail up refer to page eight so that's gonna be next page and then if you want your gun movable or fixed you can do it here upper and lower hole being put together you should do it before glue for some reason so, and they actually show here pieces of tape, just tape it together. And then you got the commander's cupola, the part of the third basket on the back. Sorry, <coughs> uh, more here, handle grips, everything's going on. And shave off while adjusting turrets, the jig is attached after adjust. Yeah, something like that. We already had this. Then we got 9 and 10. We got the night vision box device outside being all put together here. The top machine gun, it's a 12.7 mil. Can either do it green or khaki. Okay, you got the smoke dispensers or dischargers. Uh, there's a rack, probably for the fuel cans. You got the antenna guards with the antenna mounts, laser detector, green mounted as well. Then everything is the antennae, the rack, the gun, the smoke dispensers, uh, the light, and everything goes on. Uh, and again, mobile gun shield, make waterproof sheet with aluminium. Sh I have no clue what this is about. Where this is. Yeah, I don't know. You make, can make a gun shield for something. Then you, you got tubing, so you can connect the night vision blocks here, go through here and into the tank there. And then you can paint the commander and the driver. Both here and then here on the back, you start making. Oh no, you don't have to start making because there are bands. You make do the diagram shows left track also make right. Well, you got rubber bands and they're all the same. So, <coughs> and you got the front mud cards. And then. Side skirt base installation. Oh, here's the side skirt installation. This is how the side skirts look like. Should look like. 
and then you got a diagram here and I think this is the engine deck this looks like the engine here this looks filler caps so here should be the exhaust but they're not and this is the rear plate yeah it's uh, and that's it thank god uh, so i have to put these back together the correct way like this those are the instructions and uh they're easily the most difficult instructions I've ever read. Dragon, you have been dethroned. Well, the plastic. Let's start with the hole. And yeah, I don't say a word, you know what I mean. The lower hole made by Tamiya in 1979. Batteries not included. So, this is actually just a 1979 Tamiya I'll still show it because I'll show everything I have. There's some. scene was there in the mountings for the swing arms suspension arms and the mounting for the uh, sprocket wheel and that's it yeah like I said and that's what you get so you see I'm not making this up Now let's, let's, let's just do this. The tracks. Yay, staple. So there are four half tracks, as you can see. Hopefully these are the new Tamiya ones, so you can glue them, not you need to heat them. Um, there are just those final vinyl rubber bands as you can see <coughs> and it's the outside and the inside come on there it is so that's what you get on tracks wise and i have no clue if you don't like rubber band tracks if you can get uh, aftermarket tracks for that thing. Yeah, whatever. Uh, a first pro. The upper hole and the two third sides. Upper third and lower third hole here. So all the it's all molded on. Caps, filler ports, engine deck with the grills. All kind of locating holes here. Nice shiny. It's very greasy. So I need to give it a wash. Oh, well, I need to give this a wash. It doesn't just have to be yours as well. It kind of seems to have a very rough cast texture. Sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. I felt that one coming. Let's 
seems to kind of have a texture. Either that or the molds are very old. Well, they are very old, but not really too old. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but they are dents and scrapes and everything. Uh, molded into the plastic. So, I don't know a lot about this tank. I'm going to show you the as well. I don't know a lot, a lot of tanks, so I don't know what the fabrication progress. I mean, the Russians, they had all those dented turrets and holes because that's the way they pr produce things. Japanese normally are a lot more sophisticated, so you kind of would expect clean, uh, well, like baby skin shaven faces. I mean, clean and sharp turrets. That's just in my head. I don't know if it's true. And you got two bags with this tubing foil. This is some kind of foil. I'm not going to take this out because this looks like a detail set. You can see. We got some foil there. That's that green one. The youngest. You got this part there and some tubing. So I'm guessing these are detail parts to detail something up. And then you got the wheels and the swing arms. Nice cast. I thought it's black, but it's more really dark, dark green. The actually these are very, very nicely. The bolt heads here, the bolts, not the bolt heads, they are actually sharp as f. These are done. This must be, these are retooled. It's not possible, these are the original toolings. If the original toolings made these in 40 years, yeah, 4 0, because that's how old these are, then the uh, modern manufacturers must go home and hang their heads in shame. Because these things are molded sharp. Wow. Yeah, I see. Can look how close up I can get. You see exactly what I mean. How sharp it is. In here as well. How sharply molded. So if these are the original molds 40 years ago, yeah, I bow to you, Tamia. Yeah. And uh, I'm not, a, definitely not a Tammy FM boy. But this, yeah. For a 40 year old kid. And these are Tammy on molds. And I don't know if they're molded by Tammy now or Asuka. But the way they're packaged? Staples? Really? Tell me. And I say that with a reason, and I will show you the reason. One second. Well, <coughs> I see what I was saying. I know these are made by Tamia, and I'll show you in a minute. So, back to the sprues. We've got the commander figure here. This is the B sprue. Rear end. Uh, tow cable, lights. This is the jack, jig, jig. So you can align your uh, swing arms if you cut them loose so they can be movable. Tools. And this actually shows it's a 1940s, a 40 year old. The commander. Kit number two comes home as well. Oh, 
You can see there. You can see. Sorry for the movement. <coughs> yeah, I'm getting cold. A cold. I'm not getting cold. It makes me pretty warm. There's the commander figure. And it's very much Tammy and I 40 years ago. And I can see. Ah, uh, there it is. So, yep. Yeah. And the other sprue, you've got the two part gun, three part gun basically the driver, the commander, the mantlet, top gun. Daughter is singing in the background, you'll probably hear it while pretending she's a dying cat. The smoke launchers, the basket, and no detail on this side, so I don't have to turn it around. The gun is not that bad. It's not open, of course, but the detail is pretty good. Pretty good as. I see. And the driver is, well, Tamiya. Sorry. Cupra details look nice as well. So, yeah. Looks good, all in all. I am not really disappointed. Not as much as I, would, as I thought the first time I opened this. I just gave it a quick look. Here's the gun, the barrel, sorry. There's the mantlet. Is the driver? Goggles. Parts of the. And there goes my vision. The machine gun. You can see I'll play. The diesel is pretty good. The smoke dispensers, and now I can't see anymore what I'm showing, so hopefully you can see a lot. I can see my fingers now. There it is. I can see again. The cupola, and we already showed you that one, so. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> so, those are new. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, don't need to show you these, I guess. Can't even remember the name at the moment. So, those are the Tamiya parts. Now here come the more greenish. I'm guessing these are the Asuka parts. We got one of these. Just one thing. It's the same thing as that was in Nostra. One of those detail sets. If I'm gonna cut this out, I'm gonna lose it, so that's it. No clue what it's for. <coughs> we got the clear parts together with some non clear parts, and again, staples. So I wonder who's packaging this. And these are actually harder to open. Damn. Yeah. F and that. So, clear parts. They're clear. What can I say? In search for the cupola, lights, and vision blocks, and the gun breech. Or the thing where the gun goes in so you can move it. <coughs> Not a lot of detail to see, but nonetheless. And that's still my daughter saying, trying to sing in the background. Um, it actually started to hear, hurt my ears. So. One second, I'm gonna yell at her. Lieke! <coughs> that should be enough. Uh, yeah, how to do this? Yeah, these are. I hate this. Huh? 
Why do companies keep doing this? Nobody likes this. Just buy a heat gun or so. Jesus. Uh, yeah, more upgrade kit stuff. All small handles. This is four of the same. So I'm going to put three back. And these are all just updates or up detail kits, as I can say. And these are parts for the exhaust. So. It's just the handles and mainly the exhaust covers. And you got three of these though, that one. So, yep. Back in the box. Next up. I'm not even gonna start. I'm just gonna do it like this. Got white circles and detailing, up detailing for jerry cans, fuel cans, tools, ports. Oh no, these are the top and tool. These are tools, jerry cans. That's it. So you got this white stuff. And then you got the up detailed. Oh. Now goes the white stuff. The up detailed jerry cans and tools. You can see all small stuff there. It looks good. So, yep. Yeah. Second to last. <coughs> and we got spare track links, covers for the idler, I think. New headlights, it all again, just update, updating, making it more handsome. I'm just going to put this one here and I'm going to put this one next to it because it's this last sprue. These are all big parts. You've got a different shroud and a gun here. You've got the side skirts. You've got the cover for the um, cables that go from the infrared sensors. And more small stuff. So let's see there are. No detailing on the inside of the side skirt, so you don't need to see that. So let's go over it. And they all got a very big plug in the middle, that's why they are so jiggly and wibbly and woggly. And then stay put. Region. Let's go a little bit closer so you can see the second shroud on the uh, where are we? That we can see. Okay. Second shroud on the gun. And he said it's good. So those two. And then we only have the details left. Decals, not details. Detail decals left.
See? You can do it, but I don't do it with all your paint. Uh, I'm just a dumb truck driver I will never understand. And these are branded by Asuka themselves. And they actually, you can feel them, so they're a little bit thick. But they're matte, not shiny. So that's good. Uh, yeah, they look good. I'm just going to show them like this, hopefully. There they are. There's a whole lot of white in there, so you don't see a lot. And that's it. I'm going to put this back. In the back. And just one second. And that was kit number two. Sorry for that guy. But it's life. So. The Asuka model Tamiya. Type 74 tank G. 135 skill. And it's all a JCSDF kit. My thoughts. It's a Tamiya kit. Plain and simple. It's Tamiya. It's. It's a Tamiya kit with Asuka detailing stuff. That's it. So, you're not buying an Asuka kit that's in co collaborate, that's made in collaboration, collaboration with Tamiya. No, you're buying a Tamiya kit that has extra nice stuff to add to the Tamiya kit from Asuka. There are no kit parts from Asuka. They're all just like this and uh, the handles are extra nice and it has a little bit more uh, rivets on here and has a little bit nicer lights and but I don't know what the price of this is but you're buying a 40 year Tamiya kit which looks good don't get me wrong it looks good it's a 40 year Tamiya kit with Asuka upgrades. It's not an Asuka kit. Still looks good. It will go together like it's done now already. I don't even have to open a box because I have to just touch in some paint and it's done. The instructions will be in headache. A major one if you can't read Chinese Japanese. Because, yeah, well, you've seen it. I mean, there's so much text that you can't read and just hope to do it right. And there are probably people that built Asuka models before and they're just now looking at this or not. And thinking, what the hell are you talking about? All their kids are like that. Well, my hat's off to you then because, <laughs> damn. Dragon got dethroned for having the worst uh, instruction sheets. But all in all, like I said, it's still a base Tamiya kit with Asuka upgrades. If that's what you want, it's going to be a great kit. If you think this is a pure Asuka kit, no. So just think about that. Like I said, all in all, looks a good kit. Molds are really pre pretty good for a 40 year old kit. You, you've seen the bolt heads. I mean, it looks perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not a 100% Asuka kit. That's one thing you really should keep in mind. And that's my thought. Again, I want to thank Domino for selling it to me. Because it's, it is very nice. Oh, I'm not completely. I'm going to do it like this. It's a very nice kit. <laughs> Sorry, but I just can't. Uh, I'm probably just a little bit disappointed because I was hoping it would be a Suka kit combined with Tamiya parts and not just a complete Tamiya kit with some Asuka up detail parts, which this is. So you've seen what it is. You know how Tamiya goes together, so that's a plus. And if you want to get it, get it, because it will go get together a bit good. It, it's, there's no question about that one, so. 
Well, the conclusion of this uh, review is a little bit longer, but still, let's end it. I hope you enjoyed it. Like if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And hope to see you next time. Bye bye.